Good afternoon, YouTube. My name is Shannon, and today I'm going to be <clears throat> walking everyone through the procedure of um, estradiol valerate injection for hormone replacement therapy. And a little disclaimer up front uh, everything I'm doing here is perfectly legal. I'm prescribed. This is a pre prescribed medication. And um, my disclaimer here is I'm not promoting. Um, this type of therapy for anyone. It's a demonstration video for those that are considering or, or are being prescribed this or you know, just considering it and gives them some knowledge if this is really the procedure in which they want to move forward with. Um, <clears throat> in this video, it's going to take me a couple of videos. I need my injection today. I can't wait. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to go over everything that it takes you know, all the, all the materials, what you need to do your injection. Of course, first off, you need your prescription from your doctor. Um, this really isn't for uh, self-medicators. You know, I mean, you can watch it and learn how to do it if you don't know how, but that's not what I'm promoting. I'm promoting seeing your doctor, being prescribed, and being under close supervision or observation for your um, hormone therapy, your blood work, everything needs, needs to be accordingly. So anyway, you get prescribed um, estradiol valerate, or and I was originally prescribed del estrogen. And this was um, very expensive. This is a five milliliter bottle, which is five injections. Uh, for my dosage, it's one cc or one milliliter. So this is five injections, which would last me 10 weeks, actually 12 weeks, but 10 weeks is five injections, the last 12 weeks, because um, <clears throat> I do it every two weeks. Well, after I got this first prescription pill, I found it significantly cheaper at an online pharmacy uh, in the United States. This isn't from Canada or UK or anywhere overseas. This is, um, I get mine in Vegas, and there's another pharmacy in Florida, I believe. And if any of you are interested, I can give you that information. But I'm not going to put it out on the on the video. You can you can uh, email me or personal message me or something, and I'll provide you the information. But it saves me almost a hundred dollars a vial. Um, this 10 milliliter vial, 40 milligram dosage, um, is a six month supply for me, and it's like 38 dollars delivered to my door. It's I think there's an eight dollar delivery fee, so it's like 30 bucks for the prescription and then eight dollars and a three day delivery. That's a smoking deal. So anyhow, uh, moving on, I've got the rest of my HRT out here too. I take spironolactone, 200 milligrams a day. And um, this was, it comes this way too, but it comes in these other, I've been getting it recently in this, in this other call a test or something. It's a Walmart product. <laughs> and then um, my midroxy progesterone which actually I'm, I have an appointment in August and I'm going to see if I can switch to micronized progesterone, uh, 200 milligrams a day. This is a um, medroxy progesterone, which is synthetic of the micronized progesterone. And I take uh, one of these a day. So um, I bought 100 needles. You can buy them, you can get them 20 a pack or something like that. And those are pretty expensive when you buy them that way, but you need a prescription to get them. And this is an 18 gauge, 3 milliliter, 1.5 inch needle. And it's called a lure lock syringe. It's important that if you start HRT or injections and you have to switch to different needles, that you buy lure lock syringes. The other syringes, the needle is permanent and you can't remove it. And you need to remove and discard this needle after drawing up the solution and discard it in your sharps container. Um, the reason being is the solution is very thick and a bigger needle, it's easier to draw off your solution. Then you remove it and then I have also here 121 gauge, one inch needles that come in neat little packets. Just rip one off as you need it and you detach the uh, one and a half inch 18 gauge and you uh, put on one of these 21 gauge one inch needles and it doesn't need as big a hole. And that, this needle on the syringe is, is long and big. It would really hurt. I'll show it to you when I prepare my, my injection. Um, 
So I prepared my site. What I did is, you want to be sanitary. I cleaned the whole surface where I'm working. I put down a nice sanitary clean piece of paper. I have a bottle of alcohol here. I have my needles, my syringes, my sharps container, and alcohol swabs. These are convenient. You know, I, I sometimes I use those, or I just use a bottle of alcohol and a, and a cotton bottle. I bleed sometimes. It depends on where I poke. If I'm getting blood, if I bleed, it's just a little drop or two. But you also want to put on a Band-Aid after you've uh, injected yourself. And leave it on for, you know, it doesn't really matter, but I leave mine on for a half a day or I wear it for the day or whatever and take it off um, just to keep the dirt from uh, any bacteria from the site. Um, that's the idea here is to be very, very sanitary with your procedures. Always wash your hands with an antibacterial soap. And you can, it's recommended to wear rubber gloves. I don't. I just make sure I wash my hands and don't touch anything and, and everything's clean. Um, of course, a bag of cotton ball. And that's basically all the things you need to do it. Um, you're going to need syringes. You're going to need uh, additional needles for the right gauge for, the, for, the, for your injection, so it's less painful. Um, you're going to need a sharps container to discard the used needles, which is a federal law. Um, you're going to need some alcohol cotton alcohol or alcohol treated cotton swab or swabs to clean your injection site and you also clean the top of your vial before drawing your solution out which I'll be demonstrating here in the next video. So anyway I've got everything prepared here. I've got my my 21 gauge one inch needle sitting here, my my lure lock syringe with an 18 gauge one and a half inch needle. I have my estradiol valerate which is a 40 milligram solution. Uh, or dosage with a with a 10 milliliter volume, so that's like a ten, like a six month supply. And I already went through my oral part of my hormones. I used to take finasteride or was prescribed finasteride to my endocrinologist, but when I switched to injections, I also switched physicians, and he took me off the finasteride, which that's really for people that are can't grow hair or have have really lost or balding. I am. I have a receding hairline, yes, but I'm old, and it's not receding, you know, any time rapidly, and my hair grows pretty readily. So I didn't need finasteride, and it has some very bad side effects. So I'm only on. I'm on spironolactone, my progesterone, and my estradiol. So those are the main HRT, the hormone replacement. Um, uh, drugs that you need for hormone replacement therapy. So anyway, I'm going to end this video and prepare the solution and then do a, a separate video for the injection itself so that I allow myself enough time to do this. Okay, any questions on getting this prescription? Um, I can say, girls, you know what you're paying if you're on Dell Estrogen. It's $100 or more. Mine is $117. I'm only paying 30 bucks for this. And I can tell you where to get it. Just write me. Talk to you soon. Bye.